SecureWorks Tejas XDR gathers and interprets telemetry from every corner of your IT landscape for faster prevention, detection, and response to threats. And the Tejas platform integrates with your existing endpoint telemetry or uses its own native agent. Now let's see the actual deployment, connectivity, and real-time updates delivered via the new Tejas agent. This is Michael Rosen, SecureWorks Director of Technical Marketing. And today I'd like to walk you through the new Tejas XDR agent experience. Tejas XDR agents are always on, lightweight real-time agents that integrate with Tejas XDR natively, including native support, not ported code for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux endpoints, providing fast telemetry ingestion and clear visibility into the endpoint agent's health and online status. The Tejas XDR agent experience begins with endpoint management on the endpoints node of the navigation tree. Here we find tabs for endpoint summary, group configuration, and agent downloads. All Tejas XDR agent endpoints are listed on the endpoint summary tab. Default fields displaying various data are shown for each endpoint, including their host names, connection status, isolation status, agent version, and the group that the endpoint belongs to. The columns are sortable, and you can quickly add columns of interest from the three-dash icon, Column Picker. Here, I'm adding columns for OS family and tags. The OS family is detected automatically by Tejas XDR, but I have added additional tags for specific platform versions and the various departments to which those endpoints or their users belong. I see that my Windows Server 2016 endpoint operated by user 41 has no department assigned, so I will add that tag now by selecting the endpoint, clicking the tag icon, and then adding the key value pair for how all tags are assigned in Tejas XDR. In this case, I enter department for the key and finance for the value, then click assign tags. When the list updates, we now see that the new tag is in place for the Windows Server 2016 endpoint. Next, we're going to isolate an endpoint by clicking its host name in the list and choosing Isolate Host from the three-dot pop-up menu. We could also reconnect to the agent, uninstall the agent, or refresh the agent's display properties. When we click Isolate Host, we must supply a reason. In this case, we'll enter Incident Investigation and then click the Isolate Host button. When I refresh the list, we can see that our endpoint isolation status has immediately changed to isolated. We can restore the host in exactly the same way once our investigation has concluded, again by supplying a reason for the audit trail. There are a few other things you can do from the Endpoint Summary tab including exporting endpoints of interest to a CSV file for other uses, assigning tags in bulk to multiple endpoints at once, or reassigning endpoints to a different group, a step we will return to after we create our second group. The Endpoint Summary tab also lets you filter Tejas XDR agent endpoints using multiple criteria to home in on just the specific endpoints of interest a capability which is especially useful for large deployments spanning hundreds or thousands of endpoints. You can filter by connection status, host name, and any of the other columns that are selectable for the display table. I will first search for isolated endpoints using the isolation status filter. Now I'll apply a more complex set of cumulative filters to limit the display to just the Mac OS endpoints that are not connected meaning the hosts are turned off or their agents are offline and not visible to Tejas XDR. I'll do this by combining the connection status filter with the OS family filter. Endless filter combinations help you home in on just the specific endpoints of interest for any task at hand. Tejas XDR agents can be organized into groups of your choosing on the group configuration tab. Groups can represent various geographic regions, physical site locations, logical business units, endpoint production status, or other groupings that are meaningful to your organization or to you as a Tejas XDR administrator. Each group has a group name, a policy, and a registration key. 
Also note that there is a registration server URL, in this case, reg.c.tejascloud.com, which is needed along with your group's unique registration key during the agent installation process so that new Tejas XDR agent endpoints automatically are joined to the correct group. Here in my Sunday morning tenant, I have a Sunday morning pilot group, and now I'd like to add a Sunday morning production group, giving me two groups where I can organize my Tejas XDR agent endpoints. As an administrator, I may be testing functionality and experimenting with different configuration settings in my pilot group, and then rolling out approved standardized changes to my production group. I click New Group and then name my group Sunday Morning Production. Type Production Endpoints in the description field and select Standard for the group's endpoint telemetry policy. You can read up on details concerning the policy tier models in the Tages XDR documentation. So now we have two distinct groups with two separate registration keys for enrolling new Tages XDR agent endpoints. They are agents for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS endpoints. The new agent supports multiple versions of each operating system, including downloads for both RPM and Debian versions of Linux. OS version support is continuously being updated, so be sure to check out the current Tages XDR documentation for the most up-to-date list. If you are downloading the Tages XDR agent from the endpoint you intend to install it on, you can go ahead and launch the installer right away. Or you can simply download any or all agents of interest and distribute them to their intended endpoints later. I cover the installation sequences for Windows, Mac, and Linux in separate videos. The Tages agents are generic in the sense that they are not tied to a specific Tages XDR tenant when they are downloaded. Rather, they are configured to the desired tenant and group during the installation process. Tages XDR agents are suitable for enterprise software distribution tools, so they do not need to be manually installed on every endpoint. I mentioned before that we would come back to assigning Tages XDR agent endpoints to groups. And now that we have created our new group, we can simply choose several endpoints of interest and click the reassign group icon. Then select the Sunday morning production group and click reassign. A quick refresh of the list shows that the three selected endpoints are now members of the Sunday morning production group while the other three endpoints remain members of the Sunday morning pilot group. And that's the new Tages XDR agent experience from SecureWorks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.